Ryzen, my fellow islanders. Today, we're going to talk about engineering your environment for success. Some actionable steps that you can take. Let's dive into today's thought of the day. When it comes <clears throat> to engineering the environment for success, I'm going to break down three actionable steps that you can take today that's going to elevate and expand your perspective as well as your success. <clears throat> so, the first step is awareness. Before you implement something, you have to first be aware of what's wrong or what's not working. So the first step to this, if you're not aware, would definitely be quieting the mind. If you don't meditate, if you don't sit in stillness, if your mind is all over the place, definitely implement in some type of practice to quiet the mind. If you like to journal, this is another aspect that's helped me just to kind of to get those thoughts on paper. And then as I write out, I'm able to see different angles and how they maneuver and how they correlate. And as they connect, they start to shape my, not shape, but rather give me insights and depths that weren't previously there. So awareness, <clears throat> awareness. Now, the next step as you progress to creating the environment for success is preparation who's ever gotten up at, to go to work or maybe you got a game the next day you got a game at five right hypothetically let's put ourselves in a situation if you've never been in it you wake up and you don't have your shoes ready you don't have your food ready you don't have nothing ready you just wake up and you're scrambled you're scrambled you start your day off scrambled and that energy kind of pervades the rest of your energy field as you go to your game and this affects you and your game as well as everything else why might you ask well you weren't prepared proper planning prevents poor performance and so that's the segue into our second so we have awareness awareness that hey we got to get something right we got to implement something we got to put something together then we have number two we have preparation knowing that the time is going to come where we got to be ready <clears throat> so that we can implement these actionable steps we got to be prepared got to have our clothes ready got to have our food ready we got to have these things ready because when we plan for it we're planning for it like it's already coming into fruition it's manifesting it's here because we've prepared for it the third step the last step to manifesting or creating a environment of success is implementation so when you've prepared now it's time to strike while the iron's hot it's time to actually do what was planned so now you implement what is needed so have you ever been in a coffee shop or not even a coffee shop have you ever like brought your phone into your bed and like you developed the habit of now every time you get in the bed you're looking at your phone why because you correlate in a habit with an environment. So if I lay down and I do the same thing every day, then what's going to happen is by default, I'm going to reach for the phone. But instead, let's say I light a candle and I meditate. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other because that's, you know, it's um, everything is uh, relative to the person. So we can't say that. But for you, you might not like see these things are unconscious for most people. They're doing these things because their environment, they've created these habits within an environment. And so when they step into the environment, they habitually do these things. And so they're not creating an environment of success. So as you move forward in creating an environment of success, make sure that you're aware of your habits in that environment. And then prepare to implement what it is that you want to do. So when it comes to getting a great night's sleep, maybe laying in bed when you're tired and grabbing the phone habitually is not the best idea. Maybe 
Well, yeah. So, that's today's thought of the day, guys. And that's something that can help you. Three steps. Awareness. Awareness of your environment and how you operate in that environment. Number two, preparation. Before you step into that environment, have what it is that you need, whether it's food, water, mental preparation, physical, whatever it is, preparation. And then when you step into the environment, when you step into it, you've already mentally conceived what you're going to do already. You know your intentions. You know your purpose. And so when you step into the environment, you're implementing what it is that you've already done mentally. You're just really walking what you've already done mentally. Awareness, preparation, implementation. Awareness, preparation, implementation. Down below, I'm going to be linking our website, State of Prime. If you want some actionable daily steps to help you stay prime, mentally physically and spiritually the link is down below go sign into opt into the email list so that we can get primed together stay conscious stay elevated stay prime and podcasts yes i'll put the podcast in the link below as well if you want tips monday through friday in your ear on how to stay on how to um eliminate the fear so that you can steer the daily challenges of life podcast below opt-in page to say subscribe to the state of prime universe down below podcast website that's all i got for you guys today see you guys in the next one and remember stay prime